Today, the January 6th House Select Committee met with the former uh, President Trump's labor secretary behind closed doors. The panel is investigating whether the former president's cabinet members considered invoking the 25th Amendment to remove him from office following the deadly Capitol attack. Here's ABC's M. Wen. The January 6th House Select Committee ramping up its investigation, this time meeting with President Trump's former Labor Secretary Eugene Scalia. Several sources reportedly recalled Scalia meeting with top officials right after the Capitol riot, suggesting someone should talk to then-President Trump about resigning. Republican Vice Chair Liz Cheney saying future hearings will look into the actions of Trump's cabinet after the riot. You will hear about members of the Trump cabinet discussing the possibility of invoking the 25th Amendment and replacing the President of the United States. It comes as Trump escalates his attacks against Cassidy Hutchinson, the aide to his former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, on Newsmax. She's making up stories like one after another. Cheney and other members have deemed her testimony credible. Hutchinson said she was told by the deputy chief of staff that Trump got angry when told he couldn't drive to the Capitol on January 6, even allegedly lunging at the Secret Service agent who was behind the wheel. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Angle. Trump disputing those claims. But the craziest of all was that I tried to commandeer a car with Secret Service agents telling them to take, to take us down to the Capitol. It was totally false. Anonymous Secret Service agents also refuting Hutchinson's allegations of what happened in the vehicle and saying they are willing to testify. In an exclusive interview with ABC's John Carl, Cheney says she welcomes their testimony. They have an obligation to testify truthfully to the committee, as does anybody else. The panel has now subpoenaed former White House counsel Pat Cipollone. Sources say he and the committee are engaged in negotiations over terms of his potential testimony. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.